Thank you for calling Microsoft Support. My name is Rachel. How may I help you? Um, yeah, hi, Rachel. How are you doing? I'm doing good, sir. How about you? Uh, I've been better. I got this notification on my computer, and, like, I don't know what to do. Can you read out the notification to me, sir? Um, it says active security alert. It says Microsoft security alert. And it says please call immediately. And then it has your all's phone number, the one 236 7053 All right. Well, uh... Well, sir, either your computer is infected by a virus, or this could be oh. about a network block that has happened due to hacking attempts on your IP. So what were you doing on this computer when you got this alert? Um, I was on IndianBrides.com. Do you remember clicking on any unknown link or any fake advertisements? Um, not that I'm aware of. I was just trying to give me a nice Indian wife. All right, what Windows are you running on, sir? Is it Windows 7, 8, or 10? 10. Uh, you're not single by any chance, are you? Sorry? Are you single? Uh, what has that got to do with this? Well, I mean, if you're single, then, you know, maybe I don't have to go back on that website. What website are you talking about? Um, IndianBrides.com. I'm not Indian. For your mic and information. Oh. oh, are you Pakistani? What are you? Calling Microsoft. You're talking to Bob Williams. How can I help you? Um, yeah, hi. How's it going? I'm doing great, sir. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing pretty good. Um, So I got this notification on my computer, and it said to call you guys, and that's what I'm doing. Hello? Yes, sir, I'm here. Um, yeah, so can you fix my computer? Yes, sir. Yeah, tell me, sir, are you there? Um, yeah, I'm here. I, I'm not, I wasn't able to hear you, sir. Can you hear yeah. what you were saying, sir? Yeah, I got this notification on my computer, and, like, I need you to fix it. Okay, I'm so sorry for that. Just can you read me the exact message that yeah, on the says, screen, please? It says Active Security Alert, um, Microsoft Edge Security Alert, and it says please call immediately, and then it has your all's phone number, and then it says do not ignore this critical error. Okay, and from how long you are getting this message on the screen? Uh, about 24 hours. I got a little scared. Hours. Yeah, I got a little scared last night. Uh, I had to take some medicine. Then I went to sleep. And then when I got back up this morning, it was still on the computer. I'm so sorry for that, so that you're fixing the issues with your health as well and with your computer now. Just tell me, uh, can you give me an idea what exactly you were doing on the computer? That you got the message from the Microsoft to call us? Um, yeah, I was on IndianBrides.com. Indianplants.com. Yes. What is that all about? Um, it's about finding a nice Indian wife. Sorry? It's about finding a nice Indian wife. So you're looking for Indian wives, right? Indian, Pakistani, anything of that kind. Yes. So you want to travel to... Pakistan, or you want to travel to India to find a wife, or what? Uh, no, I'm going to find her on the internet, and then I'm going to have her FedExed to me. No problem, so it's your, it's your personal thing that you want to do? To well, she wants to do it, too. I, I mean, I found one woman. She's really interested. We just got to figure out the shipping arrangements. Okay, that's wonderful. I wish you all the best for you, Dad. Just tell me one thing, because what is happening from the last... A uh, week or two weeks, the customer are facing the problem that automatically some of the malware or some kind of ransomware is getting downloaded to their computer, and through which your computer gets locked up. You think her so father? Can you one... Her father's Sorry? not very. Her father's not very happy that she's marrying a white man. Do you think her father is putting the ransomware on my computer? What I can say about that, sir. How can I say that? Well, I mean, so you're the technician. I'm talking about the computer. How can I know that, sir? 
you said the people were facing the issues. I thought you had like a lot of information there in front of you. No, I don't know, sir, because what is happening, sir, you need to understand that. You need to understand okay. exactly what is happening here. Okay. Because what happens automatically, some of the malware and some kind of ransom is getting downloaded to, the, to your computer, and through which your computer would have been locked up. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I can't do anything on my computer right now. Like, I was supposed to have a, um, a Skype date with her at lunchtime, but unfortunately I wasn't able to use my computer, so we kind of missed out on that. No problem, I can understand that. No problem, I will do one thing. I will just uh, try to connect okay. your network with the Microsoft servers, then I will go ahead and provide you the troubleshooting steps so you can check by your end why your computer has been locked up. Okay, sounds good. So do one thing, sir. Have a look on the keyboard. Yep. And on the extreme bottom left side of the keyboard, can okay. you see there's a Windows key with four small flags on it? The uh, Microsoft key? Yeah, I see that. Yes, the my Hold that key down, don't leave it, and okay. same time press letter R. R as in Romeo. R as in Rundi, okay. R as in, you told me something, R as in? Uh, run. Okay. Now after that, what do you got on the screen? Uh, a little Rundi box popped open. It says, type the name file document and the Rundi will help you run it. And is anything written in that box, so it is clear? Nothing's written in the Rundi box, no. Type in that iExplorer. How do you spell that? Yeah, it is I-E-X-P-L-O-R-E, iExplorer. Okay. Space. Okay. Windows help dot online. Windows help dot online. Okay. Now click OK there. Okay. After doing that, what do you get on the screen? Um, it says website cannot be accessed, being blocked by your antivirus. Being blocked by your antivirus, right? Yeah, by Kapersky. Ready? Yeah. Kapersky, right? Yeah, Kapersky. So what they are targeting, sir, so I think they are targeting your personal information and they are targeting uh, that the wife you are looking for. They are targeting that as well, and they are targeting your personal accounts. Why? Email address and so I don't know, sir. I exactly don't know, and that's what is happening right now. You think it's because her her father wanted twenty thousand dollars, and I only offered him ten thousand to marry her? You think that's the reason? Really? Yeah. You think they would offer you ten thousand dollars? No, I offered him ten thousand dollars so that he would let but me do marry his wife. Do you think they will they will give you they will give you uh, they will give her her sister or her daughter for ten thousand dollars. Um, he said twenty thousand dollars he would do it, but I tried to lowball him okay. with ten thousand. How old are you, by the way? How old are 40, you, by the way? Forty-two. So then it's poss impossible for you to marry an Indian girl. Why? Because you don't like older men. Well, it's not a matter of what she likes. It's a matter of what her father's gonna tell her to do. He said no, for no, twenty thousand. He said for thank you. That's what I'm saying to you. They don't like older men in the 40, late 40s. Well, apparently her father doesn't have a problem with it. He said for 20000 So. Okay, give me a moment. I will call you back again. Okay? All right. Hi, thank you for calling Microsoft. You are speaking with Martin. How can I help? Um, yeah, hi, Martin. How are you doing? I'm doing good, sir. How about you? Um, I've been better. I got this notification on my computer from you guys. Sir, what kind of notification do you have on your computer? Um, it says Active Security Alert, Microsoft Edge Security Alert. It says, please call immediately. And then it has your 1866 number on it. It says, do not ignore this critical error. Okay, and what were you doing on the computer when you got this message on the screen? Um, I was on us, uh, IndianHusbands.com. I was looking for me a, a nice Indian husband to marry. Okay, and did you install or did you download any kind of softwares or any programs on this computer recently? 
Um, yeah, mm-hmm. they, they have a, a software where a, a single men can chat with each other, and I installed that software. And when did you install that software on this device? Um, about an hour before I got this notification. Let me tell you, okay. there are some dreamy men on this site. They're like, mm, they, they're so gorgeous. And they're, they're beautiful. So you're breaking up. I cannot hear you properly. Could you please speak a bit louder? Um, yeah, I said that there's some beautiful men on this Indian website. Hello? Yes. Sir? Can... Yes. Okay, what exactly do you have on the computer screen right now? Um, it says that I'm being blocked by Microsoft. No, I'm saying, what do you have on the computer screen right now? I told you, it says active security alert from Microsoft. Um, Microsoft Edge security alert. It okay, says, I will be walking you through some steps by which we can connect this computer with the... Okay. H- how do we do that? Is it the two-step shuffle? Okay, I will be walking you through some steps by which we can connect this with the secure server. Okay. Tell me more. Thanks for calling Microsoft. This is Robert. How can I help you today? Um, yeah, hi, Robert. Um, I get this notification from your company on my computer. All right. Like what notification did you get, sir? Um, it says active security warning from Microsoft, Microsoft Edge security warning, and it says please call mm-hmm. you guys immediately. All right. Now, can you tell me, sir, like uh, uh, what exactly you was doing on the computer? Um, I was on IndianBrides.com. AT&T Brand? I didn't got you, sir. IndianBrides.com. All right. You just trying to get some uh, emails or like that? No, I was trying to find me an Indian wife. Indian wife? Yes. Okay. So how you find Indian wife? O- on a website. Online? Yeah, on a website. It's a dating site. Okay. And what else do you do, sir, on this computer? Um, masturbation. Mm-hmm. Masturbation? Yes. Why? And what else? And uh, what bank- else, sir? Banking, um, the Amazon and the eBay and mm-hmm. white people shit. Ari. Right. All right. Okay. So you don't need to worry. Now, can you please read what messages you got? I, I read, read it to you. I read it to you already. It says uh, Microsoft Security Alert, Microsoft Edge uh, Alert, and then it says y'all's number. Right. It says call immediately. It now says, do find, not ignore this me, sir, critical error. There is, yes, they confirm me the error code, sir. Yeah, it says ms-sys-info32. Okay. Okay. All right, sir. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and connect you to the Microsoft Secure Server. All right? Okay. And then Let's we're going it. to uh, unblock your like unblock your computer all right from the microsoft edge which is blocked and okay. secondly we're going to diagnose your computer sounds good all right 
Now, can you tell me the number which you called us is 301-884-9800. That's your cell phone number or home phone number? Home phone. Home phone. It's a home yep. phone? Yep. Okay. Now, could you uh, do you have a cell phone number, sir? Yep. Could you please confirm me the cell phone number? Yeah, 424-226-6622. 424? Yeah, 226. 226? Yeah, 6622. 6622? Yep. Okay. Alright, so now what you need to do? Like, okay. are you the main user, primary user of this computer? Uh, well, I told you I was looking for a wife, so do you think there's anybody else in this house? No, no, I'm talking about the primary user. Are you the primary user? Well, if there's nobody else in my house, who else is going to use the computer? Okay, so you use this computer like it's basically a laptop or a desktop, sir? It's a desktop. You ever tried to... Desktop, okay. You ever tried to yank it with Sorry? a laptop? I didn't got you. Repeat it once again, sir. You, you ever try to, to play with yourself with a laptop? It's not a barrister laptop or desktop. I was just trying to ask you which laptop or desktop are you using? I have a desktop. Whether you're using laptop or desktop. So you it's guys told me that you're using. Okay. Yes. Now what you need to do, look on the keyboard, left hand side, bottom corner, you can see the CTRL key. Okay. And beside the CTRL key, you can see the four flag windows key. Mm, I see a Microsoft key. Yes, hold that Microsoft key along with the letter R. All Microsoft right. key and the R key together. All right, I'm holding the Windows key and the R key. Yep, okay. Mm -hmm. And then what do you see, sir? Um, a little Rundy box popped open. It says type the name of the program, folder, file, document, or internet resource, and the Rundy will help you open it. All right, then you need to type in that box. In the Rundy I am box? in Indiana. Hello? Yeah, in the Rundy box, I need to type what? I as in Indiana. Okay. I as in Indiana. E as in Echo. E as in Echo. X as in X-ray. X as in X-ray. P as in Peter. P as in Peter. L as in Lima. L as in Lima. O as in Oscar. O as in Oscar. R as in Roger. R as in Rundy. E as in Echo. E as in Echo. Give me space. Yeah, space. S P A C E. Sorry? You said space, right? Yes, you don't need to type a space, sir. You need to give a space. Oh, give a space. Okay, so G I E. N S P A C E, is that right? You might be got wrong, sir. It's I explore. The first word is I explore. Yes, I got that. I explore, and then I got give a space. Yes, so you don't need to type that give a space, sir. You just need to space. Push the space Put bar. Put space button. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, I got it. Okay. And then you need to type Windows Help dot online. Windows Help dot online. Okay. Is that dot and net dot com? Open. Is it dot net dot com? What is it? It's Windows Help dot online, sir. Oh, there's no dot com or dot online or dot any of that. No, there is no dot com. It's only dot online. Windows help dot online. Okay. That's it. Got it. So I got I Explorer, Windows help, online. Dot online. Dot yeah, like dot. a period? Yeah. Full stop. Got it. And then click on OK. All right. Clicked on OK. Mm-hmm. I Explorer opened up. Um, now what the, do you see on the screen? On the website it says Kapersky is blocking this website because it's known to be used by scammers.
Oh, really? Um, yeah, my antivirus seems to be blocking that website. Should I turn the antivirus off? Oh, it's saying that... I, uh, what message did you read, sir? Could you please read the one again? Yeah, it says error code 420. This website is being blocked by scam or blocked because scammers use it. And then it's got the little Kapersky logo down in the bottom right hand corner. Okay, hold on. Alright. 